Hello, in our last session, we have seen that how we can configure resources, resource characteristics and other work hours for that resource, right? Now, once this resource is configured, the next thing is we have to create some work orders, right? To create some work orders, let me tell you a scenario. I will go to field service application and I will quickly navigate to the sales application called a sales hub. Let me tell you a practical scenario so that we can go through. Let us see. Let us create a contact now. Okay. Let me create a contact and whose name is. I will give you a name. So let me create a new contact and the name is let's say robot. Robot hook and I can give a job title or a job my choice and I can select an account right now I can select an account let me first save this for this contact I can define an address right because contact is a customer and the customer should have an address so I can define an address here I can define a again a uh, new address for this customer I can define some state here and I can define United States click on done it will give you some suggestion I can define and click on save so I have just created a contact normally and I want to associate a account for this contact right so I'll go to account and create an account so this account is required whenever you build something to this customer I'll create a new account. The organization name is let's say robot account. And here I have to provide the information about servicing address. Service address means the address for which the customer, the field service will field service agent will go. Now I will provide a location and choose let's say this one. I will save it and here for this account I can choose a territory right if you go here in the uh, section in the details you will find there is a territory option available right if you go to let me go to servicing and in the servicing you will find the options like service territory for this customer account right now you can define the details about industry of this uh, uh, account and other details if you want now go to servicing this is the field survey information and here define the territory use the same territory so that it will be better to book right now travel charges hourly charge you can define what is the work template you can define service charges work order instructions you can define now this important thing is latitude and longitude this is important so click on get geo code click on get geocode now geocode will identify the longitude and latitude of the same address so this is the address if you don't find any address choose the address here and it will open it will update the longitude and latitude right now it is done click on save now in the work order instruction you can define something important account okay now I can save it you can define what is the billing account for this and what is the product price list product price list is used to uh, to define what is the cost the customer has to pay for the work order completion right you can define let's say uh, US dollar you can define retail US dollar and save now I have configured an account and I have to associate this account to the customer so I will go to this account name and associate robot account save and close now I have successfully created an account and associated with the contact and here also for this contact there is no longitude latitude you can click on this get geo code to automatically identify the geo code I can click OK OK now it is populated click on save and close now this customer wants to purchase 
a item an item from my company so i will go to opportunity i will create a new opportunity click on new and give a topic let's say armband armband and robot wants to purchase i can associate robot hook and account robot account purchase time frame immediate and i can save so i have created an opportunity for that customer account and once this is created i can define the product informations for this competitor for this opportunity right i can go here in the product i can define the price list the price list is retail us dollar i can define system calculate as revenue and i can also select this is how sales process works right so once i have defined this ad product i can define i can choose a product from my product catalog let me choose a product a printer product and the price will be automatically populated 500 and i can save and close now the opportunity price is now changed to 5000 now it is 500 dollar now once this opportunity is created you can see here if you change this estimated close date let's say tomorrow and save it that means the opportunity is now ready to uh, close and we can send a resource field resource so that he can install this product in the customer palace can you see that here in the notification you see the opportunity is closing that means we have to install this product called as printer in customer palace or customer place right so to do that we have to create an work order that means the sales process hands over the uh, information to uh, sur uh, to uh, field service so for that you have to go to field service first and choose a work order type you can define your own work order type as per your choice but let me choose an ins uh, existing work order type called as install or replace i can save save it once i save it now i can convert this opportunity to work order click on convert to work order it will create a work a work order for this customer in the system it will ask you the work order was created successfully open newly created work order click on ok as soon as you click ok you can see the new work order is created in the system and opened for you right so this is the work order the work order number is 00502 right and other details are pulled from this system like the opportunity and work order type everything is updated now i will directly navigate to the field service app to book the work order the work order number is 00502 now i will go to sales hub and navigate to field service now in the field service i can go to work orders and in the work order section you can see your work order is available so this is the work order that is opened and it is unscheduled right now i can open this and in this work order stage you can do many things like you can associate incidents and you can associate the sub status right you can define the functional location what is the location the work will be done and work our template work order summary what is the primary incident type you can define primary incident type let's say uh, something like uh, standard uh, standard inspection or for example you can define your own uh, primary incident type which requires some uh, hours that is configured already for this primary incident i will tell you about incident types in some other sessions you can define what is the primary resolution if you have resol uh, resolved this cache or resolve this work order now next is you have to define some settings what is the priority of this work order you can define if there is no priority you can define your own priority what is the work location whether it is online or on site or facility or location agnostic service territory is already updated instruction is moved from account to work order right so many things are already updated here if there is any parent work order you can define the work order if there is some agreement available you can associate the agreement if any case is related to this work order sometimes 
for breakdown cases you create a uh, work order so this can be associated here next product you will see all the products that are part of the customer will be available in this work order if it is created now service how what are the services that will be performed for this work order what are the service tasks that has to be performed because as you have created you have chosen the uh, incident type edge standard inspection every standard inspection have, have um, some task to be performed review procedure so these things needs to be performed whenever this field service agent will uh, travel to customer place right this much amount will take for all this task then i can go to locations and i can see what is the service address i can see the map here also and longitude latitude right now i can click on related so once it is done everything is done on the work order i can save it and next i will go for bookings when i will book this work order i can change this status to ready to dispatch because i want to now dispatch a resource to complete this work order to the customer place now i can save this now once it is saved i can book it so now you understand how work order is created and now in next session we will show you how booking can be done for a work order for a resource thank you